let us now look at a model where we are going to draw a ball from a box let us say let us say there is a box which contains 5 green balls and let us say 7 red balls drawing of balls. Let us say there is a box which contains 5 green ball and 7 red balls. Suppose the experiment is just draw of 1 if the experiment is draw of 1. What are all the questions that can come to our mind? The questions that can come to our mind is what is the probability of the ball being red in color? Red probability of drawing a red ball will be how much? There are 7 C 1 by totally how many are there 7 plus 5 12, 12 C 1 7 by 12. What could be the probability of picking a green ball? Green ball how many green balls are there? 5 green balls. So, 5 C 1 by 12 C 1 5 by 12. In fact, if it is draw one ball we cannot have many questions. In fact, uh, what is the probability of drawing a green? 5 by 12. Probability of drawing a red? 7 by 12. Probability of not drawing a green? See, if you are not drawing a green, it has to be red color. So, how much is that? 7 by 12. What is the probability of not drawing a red? Not drawing a red means it should be green. So, how much is that? 5 by 12. So, draw one ball is not that interesting, is not very difficult at all. However, let us take a case where we are going to look at say draw of 2. Suppose it is going to be draw of 2. Well, there are two ways in which the draw of 2 can be done. One we call it as simultaneous draws. Simultaneous means at a time in a single go you are going to pick both. So, if you are drawing at a time, there is nothing like first and second. So, order is not important, order is not important. When we are drawing the two balls simultaneously, order is not important. So, when order is not important, we call it as what? Combination. When order is not important, it is combination. Let us do one thing. What is the probability of drawing two green balls? If two balls are drawn at random simultaneously, what is the probability that both are green? How many greens are there? 5 greens are there. We can select 2 out of 5 in 5 C 2 ways. Totally how many are there? 7 plus 5, 12, 12 C 2. That is going to be the probability of drawing both green. What is going to be the probability of drawing both red? Both red means? 7 C 2 by 12 C 2. So, if you simplify 5 C 2, it is 10. 12 C 2 is uh, 66. So, 10 by 66. This 12 C 2 is 66. What is 7 C 2? 21. You can have 1 red and 1 green. Well, if it is 1 red and 1 green, that 1 red you can draw it in 7 C 1 ways and means multiplication that one green we can draw it in 5 C 1 ways by 12 C 2. We get 66 again in the denominator. What is 7 C 1 into 5 C 1? 35. We can very, very, very clearly see one thing 35 plus 10 45, 45 plus 21 is 66. We can clearly see mathematically all the cases have been coming here. We are able to give an account for each of those possible cases that we can have with uh, draw of 2. What all can happen if you draw 2? Both could be red, yes taken. Both could be green, taken. One red, one green, that also is taken. We call these as elementary cases. These, these are basically the elementary events is what we say. However, if you want to answer a question like this, say the question is, what is the probability of drawing balls of same color? Probability that both are of both of same color. Suppose we want to answer this question, what is the probability that both are of same color? Same color means what? 
either both could be green or both could be red or means what addition that means we have to add this with this. So, it will be 5 C 2 plus 7 C 2 by 12 C 2 in fact 31 by 66 that will be the answer for this. There are occasions where the questions can come like this what is the probability of drawing at least one red what is the probability of drawing at least one red there are two ways in which you can look at this probability of getting at least one red one way is to look at the favorable case the seven both red is a favorable case one red one green is also a favorable case if we simply add this 21 and 35 namely we get it as 56 by 66 that is we can club these two cases and then give an answer or we can use that old style probability of at least one followed by some arguments is 1 minus probability none followed by rest of the arguments. Let us see how to look at this probability of getting at least one red what is the negation of at least one red at least one red means minimum one red should come what is the negation of this that one red also should not come that one red also should not come means what both should be green that both should be green means this case 1 minus 5 c 2 by 12 c 2. So, this is both green. So, 1 minus 10 by 66 is 56 by 66. So, we can have a very good clarity if you are dealing with simultaneous draws now. Yeah. In the context of drawing of balls, we have discussed simultaneous draws. Now, what we will do is draw of 2, we can also do it in a successive fashion we can do it in a successive fashion. By successive what we mean is one by one or one after the other. In case we are going to pick it one after the other, what can happen is we pick the ball, we see the color and put it back. If in case we are putting it back, we take it as with replacement. If you are going to put it back, it is with replacement. Now, let us do one thing what is the probability of getting both the balls as green if the draw of 2 is done successively with replacement. Now, the first time to get a green ball what is the probability 5 by 12. Second time to get the green ball again it is 5 by 12 let us understand why it is 5 by 12 because we pick the ball it is red color again we put it back when we put it back all the 12 are available and even the 5 greens that were already there is also available. So, 7 5 by 12 into 5 by 12 for both being green. Let us look at this what is the probability that both are red both are red means 7 by 12 and 7 by 12 first green next red if you want first as green second as red 5 by 12 into 7 by 12 first green next red first red next green first time red first time red means 7 by 12 and next time green is going to be 5 by 12. Let us do one thing let us check this 12 into 12 is how much 144 12 12 is 144 25 into 25 5 into 5 is 25 7 7 is 49 35 and another 35. Well, if we add all these numbers, we clearly get 144. This gives us a complete account of what are all the possible elementary cases that we can get with draw of two balls. See, logically speaking, what all can happen? Both could be off, both could be green, both could be red, one green, one red. What is more important to note here is the order is important. Green, red is different from red, green. Okay? So, this is the only thing that we need to be very careful. Whereas, when you talked of when we talked of simultaneous draws what happened was the order was not important in simultaneous draws whereas, in successive draws order is important order is important. This is the most important thing to be learned and we do not see any difficulty when it comes to with replacement without replacement case. 
let us say we are going to pick the ball one after the other. First time you pick the ball, before you could draw the second ball, this time you are not going to put the first ball in. So, in light of this, let us understand how to compute the probability of drawing both green. For the first ball to be green, the probability is 5 by 12. You pick the ball, you saw the color as green and then we are not going to put it inside, we are going to throw it out. When you go, are going to throw it out, only 11 will be left over out of which already one green has gone. So, only 4 will be remaining, 4 by 11. First red, next red is not difficult, 7 by 12, 6 by 11. Again green red, if it is green red, first time green, 5 by 12 and uh, you will have 7 by 11. Red green is going to be 7 by 12 and 5 by 11. Again there is no difficulty in seeing this, 12 into 11, 12 into 11 is how much? 132, 5 4 is 20, 7 6 42 and then we have 35 and another 35, add up all this we get 132. This also gives us a complete picture of draw of 2. So, 2 things are important, successive draws is like your permutation, successive draws like is your permutation, whereas simultaneous draws, whereas simultaneous draw is more to do with combination. Two important things successive draws are like permutations, simultaneous draws would look like combination.